Good morning to you. It is Tuesday, November 22nd. I'm Teo Torres. Here's a look at the big stories we're following today. Tentative trial dates have been set for the man accused of stabbing a teenager to death at a Stockton High School. Anthony Gray, seen here, would go on trial beginning January 9th. A second day of the trial would be the 23rd. Those dates are set to be confirmed at a separate hearing next month. Gray is suspected, by the way, of randomly attacking and stabbing to death 15-year-old Alicia Renaga on the Stag High School campus in April. If convicted of first-degree murder, Gray faces a sentence of 25 years to life in prison. For veterans, San Joaquin Regional Transit is providing free transportation to an event by Veterans Stand Down. They can access services and resources like housing assistance, employment information, and health consultation, among other things. To ride free, you just have to let your bus driver know that you're going to the event. It is being held at the Martin Luther King Jr. Plaza from 9 this morning to 2 in the afternoon. And in Sacramento County, a birthday celebration turned into a rescue operation. This roller coaster got stuck high up in the air at the Scandia Fun Center, leaving riders stranded. Fire crews came to the rescue, and one by one, the teenagers were pulled down to safety. It is still unclear what went wrong. Let's get a check on the forecast. Pretty chilly for those kids up there, huh? Oh yeah, and it got cold, especially as the sun goes down. You know it just drops those temperatures. And then into the overnight, you have uh, so much time where that uh, there's radiation cooling can take place. So now you're waking up to temperatures that are in the 30s if you're not at the freezing mark or below it, uh, you're noticing just how cold it is. It's 39 right now in Auburn, 34 in Sacramento, 33 kicking off your Tuesday for Modesto. Expect we'll have a mix of sun and clouds once again, and we'll finally get away from the chill of the morning, uh, likely beyond the 9 o'clock hour. By 11 a.m., we hit 54 degrees, with highs today finishing out in the lower to mid-60s. Tao. All right, thank you, and that's what we're following today here on KCRA 3.